All right, we should be live here. Hey, how's it going, guys? So uh, we're going to get started in just a minute here. Going to have everyone joining in just a moment. Uh, I'm not really expecting too many of you guys to join because it's like pretty early in the morning. It's kind of an unexpected live stream. But I did mention this last night when I live streamed that uh, I was going to have a massive amount of live streams coming up for Black Friday. And the first Black Friday ad is actually here, and that's for Costco. So, so we're going to be doing this. We're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, in just a minute, let me just go ahead and share this really quickly out. Um, yeah, how are you guys doing, by the way? I'll check out the comments every now and then. And by the way, can you hear me first off? Just want to clarify that, get that out of the way first. As, as long as you can uh, hear me, it's the main thing. Yeah, so the first Black Friday ad is from Costco. And let's see. So I was taking a look at this a little bit, uh, going around kind of, seeing what to expect. And I'm going to start from page 11 here. By the way, the link is down below in the description I have it at. I can put it in the comment section too if it's like easier to navigate that way. Um, but yeah, I pretty much have it in the description box. And you can go ahead and check it out from there. So, yeah, I'm looking at this from page 11 because uh, the somewhat better deals start later on or exactly on Black Friday. So the other deals are going to start on like early November, like from page one. So from here, it goes from November 16th to November 26th. Uh, so warehouse and online savings. So most of these starting off are just like candy and cookie deals. Um, I'm not really familiar with all this. And I was taking I was taking a look at uh, looking through all this here uh, for Costco. And one thing I don't like is that it just says like, oh, $4 off, $2.60 off. I wish they would have actually put the price, the regular price, and then the discount, and then have the final price underneath so that we know what, we know exactly what we can expect from this. But yeah, so anyways, it's, it's what it is. I mean, we're going to try to get through this. Uh, me personally, there seems to be a, quite a few food deals for the November 16th to November 26th. Uh, and yeah, you can see on here too, we're on page 13 right now. And still nothing extra, but yeah, look at this right here. So I like to see this. So it shows the warehouse price and then the instant savings for Black Friday or around that time of the holiday season. And then the final cost is $19.99. I wish they did that for all, all of these because I really don't know what the prices, prices are for a lot of these so if i click on this and it just takes me to costco's website so luxie living by town and country kitchen towel towels let's just take a look at that real quick i just want to see what if we can find it so lux living by town let's just see is that all there is like i guess these are just like available during the holiday season so that's what it seems like. Um, yeah, and it's kind of unfortunate because it's like, I know on Black Friday, some of these retailers, they sell like their lower end products that aren't normally available. And to just kind of save money, because that's why that's one reason why some of these are so cheap. Um, but yeah, again, nothing special here still, except $5.50 off by with Kleenex. Again, I know Costco is relatively cheap. I'm going to be honest here and tell you that I've never been to Costco before. I've never really shopped at Costco. I don't really have the membership or whatever it is. Um, and yeah, we're starting to see some deals here for for tablets and like electronics on page 14. And by the way, the link is down below in the description if you want to check it out. So we're looking at some 4K TVs here. A 43-inch Samsung 4K TV is going for $280. Man, uh, it seems like it, it seems like it's it's interesting because it's like I remember just a few years back that these 4K TVs were so expensive, and now oh, and it has a 120 motion rate. Is that the refresh rate? That's actually really impressive if that if that's the case. 
This this would actually be worth getting then. But yeah, again, I can't really base this off of anything right now because this is the first Black Friday ad that's out. Um, so we're, I'm still waiting on Best Buy, Target, Walmart. So, I mean, of course, we're, we're still a few days away from seeing a release for that. I think they're going to be released at the end of October, like, you know, October 30, October 31st, after Halloween is when we're going to see them. But that's just my guess for those ads. But regardless, I'm just going to go up based on solely Costco alone. And I'll try to compare the two, compare other ones as, you know, more of the ads get, keep getting released. So anyways... So here's what we have. Uh, for a 55 inch 4K TV, it's uh, $400. Honestly, I would stick with the 43 inch. I know the, the bigger the better, but this seems like a much better deal for 43 inch 4K at 120. And yeah, I, this is what I like. I like seeing this right here, the actual price of what we can expect instead of like $5 off or $10 off. And look at this right here with the Samsung 8 inch tab A with a bonus sleeve. So, and you got Costco's uh, concierge services technical support. So, the original price of it, it comes all the way down to $130. Now, let me go ahead and look this up the Samsung 8 inch tab A with bonus sleeve. Samsung, oh, whoops. Samsung 8 inch tab A. Let's see how much that costs right now. So this is going for $130. That seems like a decent deal. Uh, let's see how much Amazon has it for. $179. Okay, so is this running Android 5.0 Lollipop? Because that's a really old Android firmware. It seems like it could be this one based on what I'm seeing. Uh, Samsung 8-inch Tab A with bonus sleeve. Let me go ahead and click on this one because just based off like you know the wallpaper on there, it looks very similar. So let's see here, Android 7.1, a 1280 by 800 dis display. It's probably IPS because that's pretty much the standard right now. Um, still not good enough compared to the Chewy High 9 that I mentioned yesterday. Do you guys remember that uh, on the live stream? Let me just check out the comments real quick. All right, what's going on, TechOn? Nice to see you again. It's been a long time, right? <laughs> and then, hey, Shy Shy. Uh, same, my family shops at BJ's, but I've heard good things about Costco. Oh, that's cool. I think I've I've heard of BJ's. I don't know exactly what BJ's is. Um, probably like a retail store, but like I've never been inside of one. But let's see here. So Android seven point one NuGet Qualcomm APQ eight eighty seventeen. I want to see the specs of this. Oh, so it's a Snapdragon four ten that's inside of it. Um. What's the let's see five thousand milliamp hour? That's kind of low compared to like like the other tablets that we've seen. Again, for hundred and thirty dollars, you can still get a better device than the Samsung Galaxy Tab A here, and that's the Chewy High Nine Pro. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Um, let's go on YouTube. And again, if you guys. If you guys were joining yesterday on the live stream, I showed this tablet before too. Uh, this tablet is Chewy High 9 Pro. This is going on sale for $130 on Black Friday at Costco for those joining in. So it's $50 off. But there's even a better tablet than this. And it's being sold by GearBest. Relatively trustworthy site. I've used them for a while now. Haven't had a problem. And let me, this is the video. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, yeah, so here it is. The Chewy High 9 Pro, the Deca Core processor. It has a Deca Core processor, 4G phablet, 8.4 inches, has a 2560 by 1600 resolution. So that's a relatively high resolution right there. You can watch videos in probably 1440p full quad HD. The screen is going to be a lot sharper. It's got three gigabytes of RAM versus this. Uh, let's see how much it has. Uh, let's see if they show the RAM here at all. Yeah, unfortunately they don't. So that's not good. And I'm trying to find out where can we see this. Yep, it's, let's see the reviews. I don't think there was any, right? Yeah, no reviews here. Oh, no, there are. My bad. Let's see the RAM. I want to try to find that out. Let's try to search that. RAM. Oh, two gigs of RAM. Yeah, this only has two gigs of RAM. And this one has three. 
So be better resolution IPS display. I, I think this is probably an IPS display too. And this has, so number one, better display, and number two, more RAM. So three gigabytes of RAM. And it has a relatively fast processor, an ARM Mali T880 clocked at 780 megahertz, and it has a MTK Helio X23 Deca Core processor. Again, you can check out the, the performance if you want. I'll have a link down below for this. Um, just put this on the bottom right now. I'll just add this onto the live stream. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, you can uh, follow me on Twitter. I have a link down below for that too, because uh, I'm gonna be posting updates for any deals I see on Twitter first and foremost and you'll hear when I'm going to be live streaming soon at first on Twitter because that's where I usually post everything at and so let me go ahead and go into the live stream the chat so here's what it is and here you go as well as let me go ahead and post the Chewy Hi9 tablet I'm just going to post it underneath Chewy Hi9 Pro and I like this because it's like pretty much the same price, just five dollars more right now. Still, it's on a discount. I guess there's 90 pieces left. I thought there was 80. I don't know if there's a cancellation for some, but I, I could have sworn it was 80 yesterday. For those go, for those of you that joined yesterday, what do you guys think? Was it 80? Because or am I just tripping? Because I think it was 80. But regardless, we're gonna move on. So this is assuming the specs are the same. This is the same exact Galaxy Tab A that. Costco is selling for $50 off. I would rather go with the Chewy Hi9 Pro. That's still a better deal. Again, for those that are joining, I'm just going to repeat it, repeat it one more time. This is a better tablet choice than the Galaxy Tab A because it has a higher resolution because this one only has a 1280 by 800 display. Assuming that the specs are the same from Best Buy's, it's a 1280 by 800 HD display, 2 gigabytes of RAM. It does have a Snapdragon 410 processor, it seems like, versus this has a... The Chewy Hi9 Pro has an 8.4 inch display, uh, 2560 by 1600 resolution, three gigs of three gigs of RAM. Oh man, my mouth is getting dry real quick. Um, but yeah, three gigabytes of RAM, a uh, ARM Mali T880, a MTK Helio X23 Deca Core. You're not going to be disappointed with those specs, especially at the price. So yeah, we have that right there. Um, and it's running Android 8.0. So this is running like Android 7.1, a slightly older firmware. And I've never used Samsung products, but I do know usually with these cheap end tablets, they usually, they never really update the firmware. So once you get Android 8.0, you're gonna be stuck with that for a while. I don't know about Chewy. I'm, I'm assuming they don't do updates on their tablets and the same with Samsung. I can't say for Samsung really, to be honest. But one thing I don't like about Samsung, because I remember having their products before, is that they had a lot of bloatware. A lot of unnecessary Samsung devices, so it really slowed down the tablet with all that bloatware, and it, there wasn't as much space left um, compared to having like something with near stock Android or you know a lot less bloatware. So I'm assuming the Chewy Hi9 has a lot less than expected. But anyways, moving on. Uh, yeah, I would choose the Chewy Hi9 because it's just five dollars more at the sale price of the Samsung 8 8 inch tab 8. This will be available on November 16th. The Chewy Hi9 is available now. The link is down below and I put it in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, moving on. So it says buy a Galaxy Note 9 S9 or S9 Plus device payment to get a $300 of Costco cash card. Oh, interesting. That's not bad. So if you're looking to upgrade, I guess this would be a great place to go because you get a $300 Costco cash card. That's pretty interesting. So I'm assuming that's like a gift card for Costco. Costco cash card Sh sounds like one and the same almost. By the way, I don't. I'm not a fan of any of these uh, devices, these TVs, except for the the 43 inch class 4K for $280. I think that's the best deal out of all of them. It says motion rate 120. So I'm I'm assuming if that's 120 hertz, that's perfect. That seems really good for the price. And we got the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. How old is the S2? Uh, yeah, so if I was looking at a, going back to it real quick, I know I'm all over the place. Let me just simplify it first. So yeah, if you're looking to upgrade to a phone like a Samsung Note 9, S9 or S9 Plus, I would personally check out the Note 9 and because you get a $300 Costco cash card and I would upgrade to the Note 9 here with uh, Verizon AT&T or Sprint. I'm switching out from Sprint. I'm not a fan of them anymore. Uh, I keep getting throttled down. So that's the downside. Uh, the Galaxy Tab S2. Let me look that up real quick. Galaxy Tab 
S2. Let's see what that is here. Android Marshmallow. Okay. Okay, I think it's better if we if we just search up here which one they're going to be showing or which one they're going to be selling. Okay, so the Tab S2 has a 2048 by 1536 display. That's pretty nice. And let's see the specs here. It's a 9.7 inch display, 64 gigs of internal storage. That's not bad at all. Uh, you get a micro USB cable, quick start guy. That's just what comes with it. I just want to see the actual specs. So should have the. But isn't the S2 a little older? That's what I always thought because the Tab S3 is out or even the S4. So yeah, so the Galaxy Tab S3 is here. Uh, so I'm, I, I don't know. Is it a little older? That's what I was thinking. And, and yeah, I personally stay away from these uh, branded tablets because it's like branded devices usually cost more money. Um, that's just a fact. You can get something cheaper. Again, like what we were showing earlier, uh, the Chewy High 9 Pro. Chewy isn't really a well-known brand in America, but I feel like they're building up their name. Um, and the website is, is legit gear best. Have a link down below for this, but it's like $136. Really good price in my opinion. Um, this is something I personally want to pick up because it has a still a higher resolution than the Galaxy, Galaxy Tab S2. Now again, if you're looking for a... This has an octa-core processor too, so uh, pretty interesting. And it has a larger display, I'm assuming. Let's see here really quickly where the display is. Yep, 9.7 inch. So almost like the size of the Apple uh, iPads. So yeah, this is not a bad deal. It's going for, oh wait, hold on a second, $269.99. Let's go ahead and check this out really quickly. Galaxy Tab S2. And it's running Android Marshmallow. Like, that's getting old now. If this was 2016, that was all right. Even 2017. But now we're coming to the end of 2018, right? Beginning of 2019. We should be, there should be more tablets running Android. Like right now, there are Androids running Android 7.1 Nougat. And the, or even Android 8.0, like with, again, what we saw with the Hi9 Pro, what we were showing earlier. And it seems like, yeah, that's a pretty expensive price, but $110 off is brings it down to $269.99. Yeah, not a, not a bad deal, but it doesn't seem like too great. I would skip out on this, and I would look at the third-party ones that are available. I, I Yeah, I personally want to stay away from Samsung tabs. The only branded tablet I'd look at getting is the Fire 10 or the Fire 8. The Fire 10, I think, was $80, $80 on Black Friday, and it's going to come down to that again. So definitely worth considering. Uh, and then we have the Galaxy Tab A with a bonus 32 gigabyte micro SD card, uh, and it's for $120 off. That's interesting. Now, I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't care about a 32 gigabyte micro SD card because if you guys were joining on the live stream yesterday, the prices were actually really cheap for these. Uh, this was actually, the micro SD card yesterday was going for $7.99. I posted this on Reddit. So, let's go on Reddit, reddit.com slash underground tech. I posted something for this right here. Let me just quickly go to it. Because uh, micro SD cards are getting really cheap. The storage spaces are just getting cheaper. Um, and this was $4.99 for a 32 gig card. It's up to $7.99. Uh, $3 difference. If that doesn't matter, this is still a good choice. Otherwise, you can wait until Black Friday or around December, see if the price comes back down to uh, $4.99 for that. And then right now, a good deal is the Samsung 64 gigabyte micro SD card. Oh, it came down to $13.99. That's really interesting. And the 32 gig is $6.99. So it's cheaper than this. Forget about this now. So yeah, 32 gigabyte, it's $6.99. And then 128 gig is $24.99. Wow, these just keep getting cheaper. That's insane. Uh, thirteen ninety nine is such a good deal. I gotta say, even at fifteen bucks, it was a great deal for a sixty four gig. It's a U three micro SDXC Evo uh, micro SD card. It has a fast read time at one hundred megabits per second. Great for four uh, K videos. Right here, it says it too. Four uh, K video recording. It's perfect. So yeah, uh, I, again, going back to it, it doesn't really matter if they're offering a free micro SD card because that value is just like pretty much seven bucks right there. So. Yeah, um, I know it would look maybe a little more appealing to some people. Again, just remember that that these are getting cheaper than micro SD cards are. And it seems like my phone isn't working. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if Sprint heard me saying uh, negative things about them, but yeah, it's not working now, my service. Because uh, I, I, I tend to look in my phone for the comments to see the comments section out. Um, I'm not able to, right now, at least as of right now. But anyways, the show must go on. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 inch is for $149.99, so this, it's just $20 more than the Galaxy Tab A 8 inch. So if anything, if you're looking at getting the Galaxy Tab, I guess the 10 inch would be better if you're looking for a larger screen. I, I wanna see the resolution for this. Let me just have Costco open on the side. This will probably be a lot easier anyways. So let's see, the Galaxy Tab 2, or not Tab 3, Tab S2. Nope, that's not it. The Galaxy Tab A 10.1. See what we find here. And there's a new tweet. Oh, that's just mine. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could check out your comments, but again, my internet's not working on here. Oh, there it is. Yep, uh, it's back up. Well, let's see here really quickly. So a 10.1 inch 1920 by 1200 display, 16 gigs of internal storage. Uh, not bad specs at all. If you're going solely, just solely for the... Uh, for the display resolution because it's like a 1920 by 1200 display is a pretty nice display for a 10 inch a screen uh but this is going for 150 dollars there's actually a better one i made on my channel it's called the beneath beneath 10.1 inch tablet that's available for a hundred dollars under a hundred dollars at the time of this video it's a great tablet to check out i it has two gigs of ram uh 120 or not 120 but a 1920 by 1200 display and it has external memory like a micro SD card slot. It can only support up to 128 gigs versus this goes all the way up to 256. Again, it has two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of ROM, internal storage. I think that has a little more. Let's check out check it out really quickly. Beneath 10.1 inch display. And let's see here. Nope, that's not it. That's not it at all. Beneath tablet. Okay, so got it right here. Nope, this isn't the right one. By the way, guys, keep your eyes out when you're looking for this tablet because usually whenever I search this up, even on Amazon, this one comes up. This is actually the older model, and they finally split it up. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but sometimes they had like two of these together, like the new version and the old version, so all the reviews were together. Now they split it, but I think some of the reviews, reviews are still on the newer version. So this These right here is the one so yeah this is the right one so you see this screen and it has android 7.0 nougat so that's the slightly newer version again under 100 dollars it doesn't have any crazy specs but it's a molly t720 mt8163 quad core processor i believe it was uh again not crazy specs but it was decent for what it did i have a review video on this or an unboxing video if you want to check it out I'll have a link down below. I guess I'm going to be adding a lot of links to this video, uh, which I don't really want to do. But, yeah, we're still on page 14, so let's kind of start skimming through it, I guess. If there's anything specific you guys see, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. But, yeah, we're going to start to speed this up a little bit. So, yeah, again, going back to it, these deals seem great for Samsung tablets. If you're solely looking for a Samsung tablet, yeah, these are the ones to check out. I would personally choose the Galaxy Tab A over the... 8 inch one because it has this larger display and it's a sharper display not sharper but it's like a better better resolution 1920 by 1200 so you can watch videos in hd or full hd 1080p but yeah that's that and then tab s2 i'd honestly still rather go with the chewy high 9 pro that we were seeing earlier uh this is a better choice it's cheaper too and it's available on sale right now uh link is down below again and I feel like I'm being repetitive for the people that are already on the stream. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on. So the next uh, set of deals, these don't seem anything too special to me, these 4K TVs. I'll wait for the 8K TVs to come out. And these should be the standard prices, in my opinion, for those 8K TVs. But 8K is still not well supported enough. Okay, so the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier is on sale for $190. That seems kind of interesting. 
Um, uh, yeah, the subwoofer is on sale, fifty dollars off. That doesn't seem anything too special. I'd rather wait until Black Friday. I again, I'd rather wait and see some other deals for the TV deals before I make a decision. But again, they had a good deal for the forty-three inch. That was it. Uh, the channel sound bar is there too, but yeah, I'd rather wait on that. The Samsung seems kind of interesting. This one right here. You just go ahead and add this somewhere, and let's put it here. By the way, I, I've got a poll for you guys if you want to answer it. Uh, it's like if you uh, are are looking forward to Black Friday or not. Just a little poll I have. If you want to answer it, it's on the top right here. And if you're excited for Black Friday, you can answer yes or no. So yeah, just a little thing I wanted to check out. We need 10.1 inch, 1920 by 1200 display tablet. Or let me just put Android tablet. So that's my video right there if you want to check out the performance. Uh, going back to it, we're going to take a look at the the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier. Now it's this slightly older smartwatch. Here's my take on, on smartwatches. I think they're all overpriced. I wouldn't want to pay more than $100 for a smartwatch, to be honest. And let's see here. Gear S3. Okay, so a lot of places it's going for... Let's see, Rakuten. That sounds interesting. If as long as it's not refurbished. Oh, it's used. Okay. So that's that's a deal for that. And then this. Oh, again, it's used, it seems like. I just read used. Yeah, used Samsung Gear 3 S, S3 Frontier. So if you're a fan of getting a new one, then I guess this would be a deal to check out. But yeah, I personally like the Gear S3 Frontier. I still want it to come lower in price. Uh, nothing too special on page 15. Page 16. Still, it doesn't look like anything crazy. Uh, if you want to get a 49-inch 4K TV, I guess this is the one to pick. And let's see what else. Oh, monitor. Okay, so we're seeing some monitor deals here now. And we got the LG 27-inch. Let me try to zoom in for you guys. So it's probably a little better. It's probably going to look a little grainy. But I hope you guys are able to see it pretty well. And... Let's see. So it has a full HD monitor, 10 to 1920 by 180. They got to fix that. It's probably 1080 most likely because 180 is just too low for a resolution. But yeah, 5 millisecond response time, 60 hertz refresh rate. This is the standard you'd see on any monitor. A uh, 27 inch is pretty big, but I'm sure this can come down further in price because it's going for $149.99. I think we can get this for a little cheaper, so I'd wait because I think for uh, maybe $10 more, you can get a better one. I remember seeing that last year. But yeah, these monitor deals, the monitor deals are really good during Black Friday and even after Black Friday, up until December. Like, the deals are great. Uh, so yeah, nothing too special there. Let's see page 17 on the catalog. Again, we don't have anything too special. If you're looking for the largest 4K TV, it's 70 inches, $729.99. And it has 120 hertz effective fresh rate made by Vizio. So yeah, that would... That's something I would consider if you're looking for like a large TV. This one has a 240 hertz refresh rate, so that's why it's more expensive. It's made by Vizio too, 65 inch. Uh, but yeah, again, I would I would stay away from these personally. But if you had to pick, I'd pick this one personally. And you have a 4K monitor deal. A f uh, yeah, no, this I'm not a big fan of this. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's I've seen better deals. So the LG 43-inch 4K Ultra HD IPS monitor. Okay, so um, now that I'm looking at it a little more, it seems kind of good. Like, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, this deal seems interesting because it's a very large display. And if you're looking for something like that, I guess this would be the way to go. Again, I want to see what the refresh rate is. Or not the refresh rate, but the response time. LG 43 inch 4K Ultra HD. Let's check, take a look at that real quick. Just gonna move this to the side. LG 43 inch. 43 inch 4K monitor. Okay, and it looks like it's not here. That's just great. So I guess we're gonna have to search this up on Google. LG 43 inch. 
4K Ultra HD IPS monitor. And we've got, let's see right here, this seems like the, yeah, this is the right one. Okay. And what what do we have here? It's back ordered. Got it for $629.99. That's really expensive. I want to see the refresh rate or the response time. Oh, regular five millisecond response time. Uh, okay. Yeah, I would um, I would consider this definitely worth considering because uh, if you're, it's a pretty large display, so that's the only thing I'm going for for this. And if plus it's 4K, uh, I with LG's uh, devices, I don't remember. I know HP has better like kind of like contrast or you know the the photo quality is just better on a the picture quality is better on a HP one than like an LG one. LG can feel maybe a little washed out. But yeah, oh, screen flickering. Okay, so again, there's there's defects sometimes people have, but that's to be expected. But yeah, this is something I would consider looking at getting and this would be is available from November 16th. Okay, so we do have a HP Envy X360 15.6 inch laptop. Okay, okay, of course, this is what it's always going to say. 8th gen Intel i7 processor. You got to see what's inside, if they have what the GPU is. If you're looking for gaming, this is something you'd want to pass up. Uh, but 15.6 inches seems pretty big for school anyway. So uh, I think the right size is 13.3 or 14.1 inches. And we see it right here. This is uh, seems like a little better deal. But not to buy too much because it has an i5 processor, so kind of a step down. Um, but yeah, these these seem all right. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, let me take a look through chat real quick. Overpriced Chewy tablet, 140 bucks. Three gigs of RAM is steel. Yeah, I agree, dude. The Chewy tablet is a steal for 140 bucks, 136 dollars. Um, What's the best $20 smartwatch? I'll get to that a little later, 9 plays, uh, but I would say the one that I'm testing out, I think the X6 is probably your best bet. Uh, I'm going to have a video for that coming up a little later. It has a curved display, and but that's beside the point. Um, so let's see here. One terabyte hard drive, 12 gigs of RAM, AMD Ryzen 5 processor. This sounds pretty interesting. This sounds like a beast. I haven't heard of the Ryzen processors, guys. How is that on laptops? Oh, and by the way, this is one thing to absolutely avoid. The AMD A processors for any any laptop you see, if it says AMD A6, A10 processor inside, uh, those are just awful. The when I when I was using them, it didn't work out too well uh, for the A processors. And plus, they're older; they're like more more than four years old for those uh, chipsets. So the Ryzen processors are the newer newer ones, but I haven't heard too much about them on laptops. On computers or like building a PC, they've been pretty good so far. Oh, and this seems like kind of an kind of a good deal. Um, actually, yeah, I would stay away from this HP Pavilion deal. I'd wait to see the other ones. Uh, for these, and let's see what else we got here. Four hundred seventy-nine for an i5 touchscreen laptop, twelve gigs of RAM. Yeah, this is four hundred seventy-nine ninety-nine. I consider getting this, but again. This has a Ryzen 5 processor inside, so I'd consider looking at that if you're familiar with Ryzen 5. Again, I want to know uh, exactly how do Ryzen 5, how are Ryzen 5 processors. I'll probably research it and tell you more on the next video on it. So I'd be eye keeping my eyes on the Dell Inspiron 15.6 and the 17.3 inch touchscreen laptop. These are both touchscreen laptops with 12 gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive. So these are pretty good deals here. The this is a twenty dollar difference because this is bigger. And on top of that, it has a Ryzen 5 processor. So I want to see how Ryzen 5 works. I know for gaming, Ryzen 5 would be better than probably an Intel HD graphics. And that's just my guess, though. Uh, but yeah, we're on page 19 now. Oh, wait, let me go back real quick. I think I missed out on one. Okay, so this is just another one. Yep, those are the only two I see here. And again, those are available from November 16th those deals so even before black friday so we haven't even come up to the special black friday deals the moto g6 unlocked phone is for 189 dollars not bad i'd avoid the seagate one because this seems like you can get a better deal for this or it's available now too uh the g6 unlocked phone is for 189.99 uh how the g6 seems like a decent deal uh, i feel like i've seen this before 
I feel like I've seen the G6 on sale before. Let's see this real quick. Moto G6 unlocked. Let's see, we have the fourth gen. Oh, yeah, we have to see which generation this is. So. Why did I search up Moto G4? Moto G6. $229, so about that price. And $196 at Walmart, but I'm thinking this is a used one. And let's look at B&H Photo real quick. Yep, used. And this is refurbished. But the G6 is going for $199. Wait, so the G6 Play which seems a little different, is going for $200 on Walmart's website versus the actual unlocked smartphone is in black, deep indigo. So what's the difference between the Play and the regular G6? I'm sure there's probably a spec difference. But yeah, this is uh, one. If we go to the next page, let's see if we find some more deals for prepaid smartphones. Oh no, that's it. That's it for the smartphone deals. So that's interesting. Interesting to see that. Oh, and the 64 gigabyte micro SD cards. This is a bad deal right here. This is one you definitely want to avoid. The SanDisk 64 gigabyte plus micro SD card with adapters. That that deal that deal is already here with a 128 gig micro SD card for 24.99 with the adapter, and it's a U3. So better deal here already on Amazon. It's available for the 64 gig. It's 13.99. So. Better deal is already here for that, so just forget about that. Stay away from this one. Uh, page 20. Let's see what we got here now. Coming up for the ring doorbell. Okay. And let's see what else we got. Let's, let me full screen this. Okay, so we got some camera deals here. Nothing too, nothing that stands out. Oh, this seems like kind of an interesting deal. So the tire insulation, it's one cent insulation per tire. Uh, yeah, if you're if you have a car and you're looking to apply this. Seems like a good deal. Hold on a sec. Depends on what tires you get and everything. We have for one cent installation. That sounds like a good deal. It depends on how much the tires are. And yeah, that's beside the point. I know we we installed our tires just for under four hundred and fifty dollars recently. Not from here though. But yeah, let's. Anyways, moving on. Have this. Let me just post this on Twitter. All right. So, okay. So we're seeing some hoodie deals here. Nothing crazy. Nothing too fancy. Um, yeah. This is for Costco's deals, I guess. I I might get these slippers. This sounds like a good deal. Seven ninety nine, eight bucks. I don't know. I would personally get these. <laughs> So, page 23, we've got, let's see, a sauna for $1,300. If I could afford one, I'd get this, but I can't, so uh, moving forward. Oh, and the Bauer Men's Zip Pullover. I'd probably look at getting this, too, personally. that That's something I would personally look at getting. And let's see, let's go back to it. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now this is for the Black Friday deals. So one day online savings only. So these are probably going to be the more special deals that we see. Uh, yeah, this sounds like a good deal, but it's actually horrible. Uh, this Dell Inspiron 2-in-1 laptop because it has an AMD A6 processor. These AMD A processor, processors are like more than four years old. So avoid these by at all costs. So this is not a good deal at all in my opinion. Uh, I would stay away from this. And I would recommend this. It seems like a really good deal, $1,300 off, but it doesn't show the price. So if it doesn't show the price, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time anymore on it. Uh, Apple iPad is 32 gigabytes, $249. I'm going to say this, best tablet I've ever used was easily an Apple iPad. 32 gigs does seem a little low, but $249.99 isn't bad at all. Uh, 32 gigs is definitely low, though. I'd, I'd look at getting another one. Uh, which generation, that's another one that factor. But again, anything that's passed like from like last year, even two, three years ago, is still like relevant, and it will it should work well. Uh, but besides that, yeah, I can't say too much about it. But yeah, Apple is, is definitely a good 
an iPad is definitely a good gift to look at getting. A Chromebook is for two hundred dollars. 1080p Chromebook with an Intel Celeron processor. I'm again, I'm not a big fan of Chromebooks until they have the new OS coming out. I'd avoid Chromebooks too. A Dell 13-inch 4K Ultra HD laptop. Yeah, if you're looking for Ultra HD, yeah, I don't know if that's a very good deal. Oh, and I guess we have an interesting deal here. This is this is something I'd look at getting the the Lenovo IdeaPad 330 15.6-inch laptop, 8th gen Intel and Core i5 processor. It's going for $450. Let's see here really quickly. I want to see what display it has. Is it a 1080p display or is it 7, 766? Lenovo. I'm starting to run out of breath real quick. I, have, I haven't had breakfast, by the way, guys. Because uh, when I saw this, I immediately said, like, no, I got I to gotta do this. Because I held this off from last night. Because right when I was about to go to sleep, I saw this uh, for Costco. And I was thinking, like, wow, this looks pretty good. Uh, inter interesting to take a look at touchscreen laptop and let's see what we have here so the specs okay so it's a 1366 by 768 nothing too special and I'm assuming it's going to be Intel HD inside for the GPU yep Intel GPU so it's Intel integrated graphics that's nothing special if it was like uh, what was it if it was going to be like Nvidia that would be insane. But again, I wouldn't expect NVIDIA for something this cheap. But again, 12 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive. This is something to consider for school. A good deal. A good deal right there. Uh, we have an ultra sharp monitor with a 60 hertz refresh rate, 2560 by 1440. I personally wouldn't go with this because I've seen better. I think Best Buy will offer better this year too. So that's that. It's page 25 now. Let's go here and take a look. And we've got, okay, so starting from November 23rd to 26th. So doors open 9 a.m. at Friday while supplies last. Uh, I'm going to avoid the meat section. Again, I don't like this again because it's $25 off, no limit, but it doesn't show you the actual pricing on here. I guess the prices do vary for for meat because uh, they're not, it depends on how what it goes by the pound. But I guess they could have told us how much it would be per pound, like, you know, $2.99 per pound or $1.99 per pound. But that's beside the point. We gotta look at electronics. So it doesn't seem like there's much more there's that's being offered here. Uh yeah, nothing too special or crazy. Wait, is that a free hat? Oh no, that's not something totally different. Okay, and we're seeing an Xbox One S deal. And again, they don't show us how much it's gonna be, and you get a three month gaming pass with two controllers. I would like to. I would like a console with two controllers. Whenever I have a friend at home or something, Xbox One X Forza bundle. Xbox One X is a better deal than an Xbox One S because the X I believe runs better and has better specs. And then Forza has amazing graphics on it, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of. I was only a fan of Need for Speed personally. Those were the days though. And then, yeah, this one is 144 hertz refresh rate, 2560 by 1440 resolution. Now, this is the type of deal we should be looking at for 1440p monitors with the 144 hertz refresh rate. Uh, this is not bad at all, $400. Uh, but again, I want to wait and see some more deals, and I'll probably compare some of these. $100 off for the Xbox One S Minecraft bundle. This isn't this isn't a good deal at all, in my opinion. Uh, this is probably a better deal for the Xbox One S, but I would prefer the Xbox One X for $70 off. Uh, Xbox One S with two games. Again, they don't show the prices. That's why I'm not I'm not really like saying like, oh, go for this, go for that. So that's my that's my beef I have. That's my problem I have with them. We got a 4K TVs here, 40 inch. Okay, so we got a 40 inch class uh, 1080p monitor or TV. Now here's one thing. I remember I got, oh, it's got Chromecast built in, built in, along with Google Assistant. So is this a smart TV, kind of? That's what I'm assuming. Not a bad choice at all. I remember I picked up my 50-inch uh, TV made by Element at Target. It was going for $220, $230 after taxes for a 50-inch that was bigger. So, again, there's probably going to be some more better, better TV deals, it seems like. $30 off for a Google Home Mini 3-pack. I don't see why you, why you need, like, three of these. And we got some Nikon and uh, Canon deals here. $679 for the EOS SL2 DSLR camera. 
Let's take a look at that real quick. Canon EOS SL to DSLR. Let's see how much this is. So, wow, $649. So, I'm sure with the bundle, it would probably be 50 30 50 bucks more let's say uh but yeah so it's kind of almost one in the same it's kind of a sale i guess if you want to put it that way uh but yeah if anything i would i don't know about nikon i haven't used nikon before but canon works pretty well that's what i'm using right now um so yeah maybe something i would con maybe something worth considering a decent deal probably your standard deal maybe even dare i say Okay, and here we have some gaming laptops. So you get a 4 gigabyte GeForce 1050 Ti graphics inside. Wow, 200, one terabyte hard drive with 16, 256 gigabyte SSD with 16 gigs of RAM, all for $1,000. Not bad, I'll say. I prefer a higher uh, GTX process, or graphics card inside, but I guess that'll do. Um, let's see here. Full, full screen this again. And let me just check the comments out real, real quick. Uh, hey, Underground Tech, is Red Dead Redemption 2 a good game? I feel like watching gameplay of it on YouTube, people are saying it's an amazing game. It is. It's a really good game I hear from. People are hyped up for it. Uh, but that's beside the point. Let's see some other deals here real quick. Yeah, no, nah, I'd stay away. That's actually not a bad price for an all-in-one desktop. 12 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of... 16 gigs of... Or one terabyte hard drive, cool. Okay, 4K, not nah, staying away from that. i7 4 gig MX150 graphics. Uh, yeah, I think you can go get a better deal with that. The and the MSI laptop I have is a better deal than this. That's going for around $700 at the time of this video, I believe. I remember it was going for $700. Um, let's see what else we have here. Oh wow, this this is a great deal for school this has an intel h gen i3 processor i3 is pretty low with 12 gigs of ram and one terabyte hard drive honestly i would stick to eight gigs of ram at this point because it's like if you're having an i3 processor i wonder how well games will run you know if it was an i5 it makes more sense to have 12 gigs of ram but eight gigs of ram would have been better and you would have made it cheaper too along with a one terabyte hard drive yeah this is a decent deal i'd say for school if you're planning to do some stuff nothing too crazy and you have a 1080p one with 4 gigs of RAM. 4 gigs of RAM is a lot less, but it's going for $224. Usually you can find 4 gigabyte. Yeah, this is around the price. You can see like 4 gigabytes of uh, RAM for like laptops or 2-in-1s. But it does have a 1080p. Uh, yeah, it has a 1080p screen. Intel inside. Office 365 one-year subscription. Not a bad deal here again. Uh, going to stay away from the Chrome. Chromebooks. Yeah, she's going to stay away from this, too. And the, finally, this is the back now. Finally reached the end here. And we've got... And I guess we don't have anything too special. Nothing that's, like, catching my eye. So, yeah, uh, nothing crazy in the deals here. Some some decent da laptop deals. There was one uh, decent monitor deal that we saw. Again, I have to go back to all the way to page 1 because I, I haven't gone through pages 1 through 11 or 2 through 11. I guess now but yeah all these are looking like they're for uh they look like they're for uh, a lot of food stuff i heard the lasagna deal is pretty good pretty good so if you want to look at the lasagna uh that's something to consider getting but again i hate how they don't have the prices here i really wish they had the prices down that would have been much better in my opinion okay i guess you have the 17 piece cutlery set um let's see yeah nothing special nothing crazy Got to see what else we have here. I'm just kind of skimming through these, seeing if there's anything that stands out that catches my eye. Oh, I guess the tire insulation, one cent insulation per tire. Bridgestone has it. You can set schedule appointments in the warehouse for insulation. Okay, not bad. I would consider, if you're looking at replacing tires, see how much this costs. As long as it's like under $450, that's what we paid for it. But again, I guess it's going to differ for what you have as a, uh, as a car. And you have the living langadel recliner sofa here 80 to 80 dollars off that seems like a good deal again doesn't say the price so i'm going to stay away from that again i want to see what the price is before i can give an opinion on that 
Uh, yeah, and so, yeah, these steals don't seem too well. And this is why I held these off for the last. Uh, because it's like these steals start from November 6th all the way to November 15th. So you know that it's not going to be crazy. The deals aren't going to be crazy or outstanding compared to what they'll have on like November 22nd, which is when Black Friday starts. Technically speak speaking, Friday is November 23rd, but you know how these guys do it on Thursday, starting it during like, you know, the dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. Um, but yeah, let's see here. $479.99 for this. Uh, yeah, I, I'd prefer... Okay, so this has an i5. That one had an i3, but it was going for $100 less. I consider looking at that one that we saw before. And $50 off for an Apple iPad, 128 gig. It goes for $349.99. I think the other one was, what, $279? If it was $249, this is not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal at all for an Apple iPad. Because I think 128 gigs of storage is necessary. And I'm actually impressed at how cheap these Apple iPads are getting. So I would consider getting this. It depends which generation it is, too. Anything after 2015 or even 2016 is a good choice, in my opinion. And buy T-Mobile iPhone 8, get $50 off instantly. Uh, yeah, I guess here's the interesting thing about the iPhones. The iPhone XS is almost feels like a downgrade to me because like the, the battery was smaller than the iPhone X. That, or the iPhone 10 that came out just last year. So if you're looking at getting the iPhone 8, maybe this isn't a bad deal. Actually, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, I'd stay away from that deal. You'll Probably other places will have better deals like Best Buy or Target or even Walmart. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Nothing, nothing standing out. Nope. Okay, so page 9. We... Don't see anything. Okay, okay, so we have a 50-inch Class 4K Ultra HD TV with a 120 hertz refresh rate by Samsung. This is something I would consider getting if you're looking at getting a TV. And, oh boy, what is this? Yeah, this caught my eye, but $16,000 for a Wheels Up Private Aviation membership? Limit 10? Who can afford 10 of these, let alone one? I, w I certainly wouldn't go to Costco if I, I had this kind of money. That's crazy. Oh, and you get a $3,500 Costco cash card and $5,000 of flight credit. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to get that, though, because I can't afford it. This is pretty much how much I have to pay off for my student loans. That's crazy. Um, oh, and by the way, I just noticed this. A TCL 55-inch 4K with 120 hertz refresh rate is also going for that for $329. So it's a slightly larger TV. I don't know how the, the colors are compared to Samsung. Samsung usually has like higher saturation, and it's more like colorful. Uh, some people say it's almost unrealistic, but again, it's TV. I, I like the Samsung displays, uh, but I'm not sure about TCL. If you're looking for something larger and you want to save money, then yeah, this probably isn't a bad choice at all. It has a Roku TV inside, or it comes with it too, so built-in Roku, not bad at all. And we've got a curved full HD monitor, 31.5 inches. That's a really big mo really big size for it. Not a bad deal at all there. I would consider looking at getting that for if you're looking at getting a big monitor. It's curved too. Uh, stay away from Chromebooks. Again, tires are an all right deal to consider. Page 10. Let's see, okay. Oh yeah, that's spa. $2,000 off. Can't afford a spa, so I'm broke. So I'm going to skip out on this. Okay, and page 10, nothing crazy here. So, yeah, it seems like, okay, so we're back to page 11 where we started off. And, yeah, so far, not the deals aren't crazy. None of these are really standing out, like, insanely good. But they seem all right for the most part. I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below or even the stream. Uh, I appreciate everyone that commented. Uh, I wish I was able to talk to you a little, mo a little more. But yeah, this is kind of what I try to do with uh, some of these Black Friday uh, deals that I see. Did you guys see anything that stands out to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'm going to end this stream right now in a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, besides that, it seems like the, the decent deals or choices are on some of these uh, laps, laptops. Most notably for school, it's probably this one right here, the Dell Inspiron 5000 Series 15.6 inch. It has an i3 processor, but it's, it's like if you know you're not going to be doing anything crazy... Uh, but you're going to be probably multitasking a bit. 
and you want some storage space, and yeah, this is the one to go for because it's under $400 uh, for Black Friday. It starts on November 22nd, so that's a good good choice right there in my opinion. The other one was for the gaming one for $1,000. This is all right. i7 processor, 8th gen, 4 gigabyte Intel GTX 1050 Ti inside with a gaming mouse, okay? I, gaming mouses can go for like 20 bucks. So I guess it includes it, so it's nice. Has one terabyte hard drive with 256 gigabyte SSD and 16 gigs of RAM. So that's definitely impressive for $1,000. I would certainly look at getting that. It's a good one. And yeah, and that other monitor deal, which was for a 43 inch Ultra HD for $400. If you're looking at getting something large for a monitor, that's something to consider. But yeah, besides that, that looks like it's gonna be it. Uh, I'm gonna check out the comments just real quick right now. The laptop deals are the best ones easily, Techcon says, for school and gaming. Yeah, I agree, man. It seems like Costco has those deals that are kind of outstanding or seem pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be pretty much it for Costco. So yeah, Costco has the first Black Friday ad out. I'm looking forward for the other ones too. And I hope you guys are too. If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to sub feel free to subscribe. I'm, man, I'm I'm getting like my mouth keeps getting keeps getting dry right now. But yeah, uh, this is the end of the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. Uh, I definitely want to see some more um, Black Friday ads. I'm gonna be live streaming those at the moment they come out or as soon as I can. Uh, so yeah, feel free to leave a like if you found this video helpful, and if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, thanks to everyone that joined the live stream that was interactive, like TechOn and Nine Plays, along with Shy Shy. Uh, I I was skimming through. I'm just skimming through the comments, and I see you guys are pretty active on here. So yeah, yeah. Again, I thank you guys for joining this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.